My name is Dana Pavelski, and I'm first. So I was born in Rochester, New York, and I grew up in Ferguson, Missouri, um, which is a suburb of St. Louis, Missouri. We moved there because of my dad's job, and then we eventually moved to Wisconsin because of his job as well. Um, had a great childhood growing up, and my parents always gave back to their communities through volunteering. And I started volunteering when I was seven years old or eight years old. Um, my whole life we've always given back and always volunteered in some way, and it's just a part of my life now. So my parents are the most influential people to me. They always inspired me to give back to the community in any way that I can, whether it's volunteering or a small gift. Um, I really got involved in all of my volunteering because of them and um, my biggest volunteering endeavor was through the MS Society. Um, my dad was diagnosed about 10 or so years ago and I started volunteering with the local MS chapter. And I would help with MS walks, bike MS, um, you know, help put together materials for different events. Um, at the events, I'd guide people where they needed to go. Um, I also volunteered with another organization related to MS called MS Run the US. It's basically an organization that um, a woman started in Brookfield, Wisconsin, where she runs a, ran across the U.S. to raise funds and support. And I was just so inspired by that, I wanted to get involved. So I contacted her, and I ended up becoming an MS athlete. Um, I ran smaller races all around Wisconsin and raised funds for MS. And that's where I realized the power that a donation can have, no matter how small or how big. Um, and that's a big part of why I continued in the fundraising realm. So when I looked for colleges, I looked at upstate New York because I went there a lot as a child and it's very pretty. I chose Ithaca College and I was majoring in journalism. Uh, there wasn't too many opportunities to get involved, so I came back home and went to UW-Madison. I picked UW-Madison just because there is so much to get involved with, and that's such a big passion of mine, so it was really important to me. Um, I continued with journalism until I decided to switch over to community and nonprofit leadership. Um, that way I could really just focus on the specific organizations that were important to me. Well, my family was 100% supportive of me going to college. My mom got right on top of it and did as much research as she could to help me as much as she could. And any time I had, you know, a bad day, you know, maybe a lot of studying for an exam or whatnot, she was always there to support me and push me and just let me know, you know, I can do it. And, you know, once I graduated, they were so, so proud. Um, and they continue to support me today in any way that they can. Some challenges I had being a first-generation college student was probably just not knowing all the resources available. Um, so definitely do your research and try to find, you know, all the opportunities that are out there. Um, also, I do not advise taking three science courses in a semester. Um, definitely make sure that you spread things out and make it reasonable for you to achieve your end goal of graduating. My advice for first-generation college students is to apply to scholarships. That's really something I wish I would have done more of. Not to be embarrassed or ashamed of being a first-generation college student because we all have the ultimate end goal to get a good job and to be successful. And also to get an internship. And when you get your internship, to make sure that you make the most of it. That is how I got my first job out of college and the only reason I did is because I put my all into it. 